Hey everybody, this is Mr. Rasser Harass here joining you today to share with you some uh, flea market gems that I came up with. Uh, thought you might like to check them out. Uh, look at that gorgeous little 700 from March of 1986. Got two keys with it. Uh, it does work. Uh, from March of 1992, this uh, Series 50, which... Uh, that one's kind of cool. The uh, key's been in this one for a very, very long time. I'll take that out of there just so you can see. Oh, the light's kind of messing with that just a little bit, ain't it? But it's all nice and brassy, and yeah, that key's been in there a long time. But anyway, and then this little curious little uh, craftsman. Uh, I did a little bit of looking and can't really find a whole lot of information about that one. It does have one original key with it. Um, it's a brass covered in plastic. Uh, closest like I could come up with to it uh, in the short search that I, that I did there was had something to do with toolboxes. Um, I don't know if they were sold in general, but... I'm thinking 70s maybe, possibly 80s. 80s is when they really got plasticky in America. A little bit in the 70s, but more so in the 80s. So I'm kind of betting that's when that locks for them. But um, I'm sure somebody can chime in and give me a little information about that. They they do all work. Um, I haven't picked them or, or been in them yet. I'm looking forward to checking that out. But uh, the other thing that I scored was a lot of keys isn't that gorgeous kind of separated them out to groupings uh, I sure don't know a whole lot about keys so I'm just starting out learning on that front but there are some cool there are some cool ones here uh, I'll post a picture here, go along with it, but anyway, folks will be able to tell better by the picture what's going on there. Let's see. One more time. Folks can help me out figuring out what's what there. Um couple of them are these these are Reese keys here and the isolation and quick set variants there's some uh, Briggs and Stratton keys here um, an old Ford uh, probably a tractor I would say there but we'll, we'll see a um, bunch of warded's which is cool because I have some warded, lock, warded locks with no keys so hopefully one of them will um, help out in that scenario um, them rust one keys I have, I have a, a bunch of those um, there that are all keyed the same there's two different two different keys two different keys there on them oh sorry there. there's two different keys in that one there and um, there's an Elgin there and there's a sergeant here somewhere um, some slam makers uh, Yales, a uh, bunch of Yales, whole bunch and whole bunch of Yales. Um, uh, some Corbins, uh, there's a sergeant in here. Um, and uh, a couple of Lockwoods there. I think there might even be a couple more of those. I don't really know what, I don't know what to think about this one. You got some that are just darn right worn. Oh, there's a lot of guys out there that can look at a key in five seconds and tell what's there. And know exactly what's there, but if there's keys there that someone needs, why? Um, give me a holler. Be kind of cool if there's one there that somebody's been looking for. 
anyway, this right here is a lesson in never let a, uh, never judge a book by its cover. Um, nine times out of ten, somebody think this is the older lock, but that's not the case. That's not the case. Pretty cool. I would like somebody, if you know anything about these masters right here, uh, give me a holler. Put a comment down there in the comment section. If you know anything about that craftsman lock, I'd be interested in knowing. Appreciate it. Have a great day. And as always, be kind to one another, folks. This world needs it. You know I'm right.